What's up, y'all? It's Marshall Lee of DonkeyJawProjects.com, and today's Wednesday, and uh, yeah, it's close to the end of the day for work here. Um, I basically am going to take my lunch and then go go home, sort of. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, that happens sometimes. I don't get to take my lunch until late in the day, um, but I still will take it because... You know, if you're a creative person and you don't have a lot of time, lunch is an asset. So that's how I get stuff done. It's the only way to get stuff done sometimes. Um, like making this video. <laughs> that being said, I got a lot of stuff done today <laughs> before I even got to lunchtime. Um, I did about an hour or so worth of work on Lone Wolf. Thankfully, I finally starting to get more time, I guess, doing that. And there's going to be a big truck driving by for no reason once again. So, hold up. It's like the back of, like, a huge parking lot in this plaza with Target in it. And, um, nobody parks over here. Like, even at Christmas time, it, do it doesn't get that busy here. <laughs> there's, like three areas of parking that never get touched unless you're me or some other people hanging out at lunch um i noticed that uh people who are learning how to drive like they take people who are learning how to drive out here because you know, nobody's ever over here um so anyways uh what was i talking about <laughs> um i don't know Oh yeah, I was talking about how I um, I got a lot of work done today. So I did about a, a little over an hour in Lone Wolf, um, which I'm excited. I'm happy that I actually got some time in. Um, last night I actually did some drawing. I have this kind of commission for my mother-in-law uh, to do this portrait of a couple who got married, and that was actually really fun. Um, I just got to a point where I was like, I've been kind of ha had this commission on the side for like a long time and I just like wanted to get it done and I was just like let me just take a crack at it um so I did and it actually went a lot easier than I thought and um you know it was pretty cool I like doing these like detailed kind of portraits sometimes it's not like hyper detailed but it's like detailed more than I normally do um and I like to try to get a likeness it's fun and it's in pen and ink, and that's pretty much all it's going to be. I mean, pencil. I started in pencil. Did some inks out over it. Um, I did one of the figures, and I have to do the second figure. So I'm excited about that. Uh, finishing that, and, you know, um, that'll be fun. Uh, what else? So uh, also today, I, um, I finished writing the um, story embryo for... Um, Big Wrath, the project I'm doing with Peter, and uh, we have like a Trello board going, so he, we're both kind of contributing to it as we go, um, but from here on out, now that I have the story embryo for the whole entire story mapped out, and for the first issue, now it's going to be time to go into uh, mapping out the beats and forming kind of an outline slash writing the script. This is the part of the process that I ha are, is kind of new to me. Like, I mean, I've done pieces and parts of this and smaller forms of this before plenty of times, but this is the first time I'm going to be like seriously like writing a full script. Um, I was going to do that with um, Bloodstorm, uh, but I don't know. I'm doing. I, I feel myself way more motivated to work on this, and I think it's because it's a collaboration, and it's really cool because. Um, I'm really enjoying collaborating with Peter because he kind of lets me do anything I want <laughs> and he likes most of my ideas and I like most of his ideas and I feel like for some reason like like Peter and I just kind of we're at the same speed I don't know if that's a fast speed or a slow speed or a you know a good speed or a bad speed I don't know but we're like at the same speed like we both kind of dig the same things even though we're there's definitely a little bit of an age gap but still like we seem to um enjoy you know the same type of stuff 
uh, and I don't know for some reason it just works out really well and it's fun um, it's interesting um, different kind of collaborations you can run into and stuff um, so anyways uh, maybe I'll talk a little bit about more about that later but let's get into some stories um, I just read The Wrath of the Costume Party by Mr. Noah also known as Samurai Ox he's the beloved super prolific comic creator of the 100s and uh, he's an awesome dude and he made a cool comic and it's crazy and it's something you have to experience I can't even explain this thing <laughs> it features like his characters the same type of characters um, he has in his comic um, and it also has references to some well-known properties within the 100 Days of Making Comics family. So that's really fun too. So um, hats off to Mr. Noah for coming through again on his second story in these here anthologies. And uh, definitely check it out for sure. I had to move because <laughs> mosquitoes were getting to me. <laughs> Um, so anyways, uh, I just read Pepper DeLuca's story, and it was really cool. Really well, um, illustrated piece of, uh, art, or art, I don't know, it's not really a piece of art, it's pages. <laughs> um, it was fun, and I really liked the character designs, and the wolf characters, and it was really cool. So, um, definitely gotta check that out. I think you guys will dig the uh, story and um, yeah <laughs> so if you haven't been watching my videos so far and this is your first time checking this out what are we talking about here this is the werewolves and unicorns anthology is what we're talking about here and um, it's done by the 100s 100 days of making comics challenge group has come together with 28 creators to make a really cool anthology and it's nothing but fun and awesomeness and weird crazy stories that have something to do with the mythical mythical creatures or cryptids or maybe even possible possibly werewolves and or unicorns <laughs> and if you click the link in the description you can go to the Kickstarter and possibly support this that would be awesome if you supported it it'd be awesome if you took that link down below and you shared it or if you shared this video to all your friends and family because I think that uh, they need to have a little werewolves and unicorns in their life <laughs> all right so let's get to the topic of the day all right well I don't know what the topic of the day is to be honest but uh, you guys might have um, remembered I was talking about my issues with uh, my car and uh, trying to figure out what's going on with that. Well, yesterday was fun as well. <laughs> um, so what happened yesterday was I went to the car place. My sister-in-law picked me up. We went over there. grabbed the car, I grabbed the car, turned it on. It turned on. I was happy with that. And I drove it out of the lot. And less than a half a mile down the road I was stuck in a little bit of traffic and my car just shut off out of nowhere so I was like okay what do I do besides panic right now because <laughs> there's tons of cars behind me who are annoyed um, well I just kept trying to turn it back on I texted uh, my sister-in-law and I was gonna try to figure it out didn't know what to do and it finally started back up so I was like okay let me at least just drive back to the auto place tell them it's still happening I don't know what's going on um, you guys need to help me out because I can't just have a car just stop out of nowhere all the time um, so they took it back and they're looking at it today I didn't call them yet today I'm gonna probably call them after I do this uh, video or something like that and see what's going on um, and that way I'll have more car things to tell you tomorrow but the fun never ends <laughs> so I had to take an uber in again today and um, you know 
as this goes longer I'm sure it's gonna get more and more expensive and I have less and less money <laughs> so uh, once again I'm just gonna throw it out there if anybody uh, would like to commission me to do you know say a cover a comic cover or a um, some kind of illustration of any kind um, you know I'm happy to do all kinds of different things um, a pinup something like that let me know I'd love to do that for you and make a little bit of extra money so that I can you know hopefully pay whatever costs are gonna come with trying to fix this car um, but either way you know just thank you for being being a thank you for being a friend <laughs> <laughs> I forget what show that is too, but it's definitely showing my age. It's even older than me, I think. I don't know. I think it's one of those old shows that were around when I was like really little. Um, but I can't remember which one. You guys probably know. You're going to be like shouting at me in the comments. Um, Karen Lewis Bonfiglio. Um, I guess I'll just call her Karen Lewis, but it's fun to say bon Bonfiglio. <laughs> um, it's like, uh, what is it? In, in um, the elf, he's like Francesco. That's fun to say, <laughs> Bonfiglio. I like that. Um, but anyways, it seems like she shortens shortens it to Karen Lewis, and, and I get it because I shorten my name as well. If you guys have been following me for long enough, you know that my last name isn't actually Lee. I've been lying to you all along, but it is my name, Marshall Lee. Lee is my middle name, so. Um, it's just easier for people to remember than the, my other name, my last name. So, you know, it is what it is. I'm not, I used to use my last name, but, you know, why not use Lee? Because it's kind of got a cool heritage in comics. Stan Lee, Jim Lee, there's other Lees too. Jay Lee. Uh, I don't know, I think there's some other ones too. Um, and we're all, we're all related family, so... <laughs> Or family. <laughs> no, how about this? Collaborations. Collaborations are fun and they're interesting. I enjoy collaborating. Um, and there's all kinds of different collaborations you can get into. Uh, and some of them are more free form, kind of like me and Peter. Like we just kind of go back and forth and we're kind of cool with whatever each other says or decides. Although I feel like. I feel like now that I'm writing the story more, you know, the further and further we get, ah, uh, excuse me, I had to sneeze there. Um, the further and further we get, the more, you know, I, I will want to make sure certain things work certain ways because I'll be like setting things up, but I don't think we're going to run into any issues. It's been pretty awesome. Um, it's been fun. Um, <clears throat> but then there's other, you know, collaborations where one person strictly does one job and you know each person plays their strict role and then there's kind of like some stuff that's kind of back and forth but people are playing their kind of strict role but still there's a little bit of writing in there like with me and Doug Garrett um you know it's like it's kind of freeform to a certain degree but he wrote a script um and there are things that I've changed, you know, that he, he wrote out panel for panel different things. Um, but I've kind of done what I wanted with the panels and set my own kind of pacing. And also there's little details here and there that I might have changed. Um, just because it made more sense visually for me to communicate it the way I ended up doing it. Um, but it doesn't change the story. It's still basically doing the same exact thing that he said to do on that page, you know. So, um, he's happy with me, like, changing whatever so far. It's, it's been cool. I've asked him things, and there was one thing I asked him, you know, could we do a certain thing, and he said, you know, I actually don't want that, and it was cool, you know. I threw it up against the wall, and it didn't stick. There's no pro no, nothing wrong with that. Um, I think something with collaborations is you just have to be, like, I think it's important to kind of be open and be willing to um, kind of change things. But, you know, if you have a certain, the thing is, is it's kind of, I feel like you have to go in with a little bit of not too many expectations because um, I have had issues trying to collaborate before where, you know, 
one person had one thing in mind, the other person had the other thing in mind, and it seemed like the people might have been flexible, but they weren't as flexible. They, they just had some a certain vision in their mind, and, and it was hard for me to, like, it was, it was hard to work, you know, kind of within that um, and know exactly what they wanted. So it has a lot to do with communication and and sometimes it's just hard. Sometimes collaborations won't work. It's okay if they don't work too. Um, you know, if you get to a point where you're, you're just starting to realize that you're kind of clashing too much um, on just different little things, it doesn't even have to be like arguments or whatever. It's just like for some reason every time one pitches an idea they don't like it or they only like part of it and it's like i don't know sometimes you can kind of tell there's a little bit of a tension there that's a little bit too much um and uh eventually you got to say you know what i think uh i think we don't really have the right kind of chemistry to make this work uh co creatively but that doesn't mean we can't still be friends and stuff like that and and there's nothing wrong with that and support each other and stuff so sometimes you got to know when to call it quits um and some people aren't just won't be able to collaborate too you know i mean frank miller you know i don't know if he probably can collaborate because he has i mean he's definitely collaborated you know but he's also done stuff by himself that have been brilliant and it's almost like there's something you can tell that when he's done something all by himself it's like that single vision like the story benefited from having that because especially in comics like when you're creating um you know especially if you're, you're an artist and a writer like you don't necessarily if you're if you're you don't have to describe in detail in words because certain things because you have a vision for how you want it to look so you can kind of skip some of that if you want um you might but if you were writing a script for someone else, you might want to be a little more descriptive so you can make sure that your vision is coming across. But even still, no matter how much you put in detail, I mean, unless you're Alan Moore, you know, maybe, but no matter how much you put in detail, like, it's still going to look a little bit different. And, and that's kind of the cool thing about comics. That's one thing that makes comics awesome is the collaborative nature of it. Um you know you kind of have to go if you're collaborating on a comic you almost it's a good thing to go in kind of realizing that whatever the end output is going to be is going to be different than what all of you have in mind and it's going to be its own thing and it's going to benefit hopefully in, in the best case scenario it's going to benefit from the collaboration and become something probably even more unique because there's so many influences coming into it and you know the writer has one thing in mind and he writes it but the artist may have been looking into something else and, and really interested in in some other influences and um you know he'll make the pages with a few little th a few things that the writer didn't even anticipate they didn't even think about necessarily and you know i feel like projects benefit from that you know um i mean i think that's why you know there's so many different ways to collaborate like the way Stan Lee and, and Jack Kirby, like, Jack Kirby made amazing worlds by himself. Um, but he did some amazing things when he collaborated as well. Like, when he worked with Joe Simon, they made Captain America. And, you know, they, they, he was already a famous, uh, creator that people went to if they wanted a hit before they even, Stan Lee and him even got together to make Fantastic Four. Um, and then when Stanley and him got together, it was, there was something magic about that collaboration. You know, there was, even though both of them would like to say that they were the ones who created it sometimes and take the credit when it really comes down to it, Jack Kirby wasn't the same without Stan Lee, you know, and Stan Lee wasn't the same without Jack Kirby, but they also had other collaborations that worked well. So, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's kind of interesting how these collaborations can sometimes... You can put out better work because everybody's bringing something different to the table. And the actual end product is going to be something totally different than what it would have been if only one person was making the thing. So, I think collaborations can be hard and frustrating 
but they can also be very rewarding as well. Um, so I would say, especially with comics, like consider collaborating. A lot of us who are in the 100 Days of Making Comics community, we kind of tend to do our own thing. And luckily, it seems like now some of us are starting to collaborate. Um, I know I have two collaborations going on right now with 100's creators, and I'm sure there will be more in the future, and there has been possibilities of other ones before. Um, but, you know, in, like, other communities, I've noticed they actually do do more collaboration type of stuff, other comic communities. Um, so it's just interesting that the 100's has been more like individuals doing their own thing. And, you know, I'm, I'm just saying... Um, I would encourage you guys to start collaborating a little bit here and there because I think we'd uh, benefit from it, you know. I think we'd be able to... And the thing is, is one thing I'm noticing is like it's kind of cool that I don't have to think about the writing when I'm going to work on Lone Wolf. All I have to do is take that script and be creative only with the art, you know. I don't have to... I mean, it, that's storytelling, but... I don't have to worry about all the things that you have to worry about when you're writing a story. And, you know, with Peter, I'm kind of doing the writing and the penciling, but he's going to be doing the inking. So it's going to be interesting. It's I can't wait to see what it looks like when I... First of all, it's going to be a challenge for me to do tight penciling because I, I when I pencil for myself, and then <clears throat> a lot of times it's almost hard to understand scribbles. Like... I kind of draw with the ink pen a lot of times. Um, so it's just how I've learned to do things, you know. So it's weird for me. Like, I'm going to actually have to make tight pencils because I, I do want it to look really cool. Like, I want my art to come through. But it's going to be cool because um, Peter has, like, a distinct style too, which I really love his style. Um, and I love how distinct it is. It's really cool. And, you know, a traditional inker that's i mean there's been different traditions within traditional inking but uh one way of it is that the inker was actually more the artist than the artist in in older times i think and then um more modern it was like well the inker is kind of there to faithfully replicate what they see in the pencils um and you can see the difference between different inkers when you really study it and um, I'm interested to see what kind of development it's going to be with me and Peter because, uh, you know, Peter does have a distinct style, but he also has inked for a lot of different people. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. It's going to be interesting. So anyways, uh, that's a little bit about collaboration. Hopefully that was interesting to you guys. Uh, like I said, I would encourage you to collaborate, but I would also encourage you to do fully self-created things sometimes as well. I'd say try both. And I think that both ways are rewarding in, in different ways so thanks for watching you guys rock i will talk to you tomorrow on the next vlog peace out